Hey guys, so today's video is going to be on the Kendall Jenner Cannes Film Festival 2016 makeup look. And she actually looks gorgeous back in the Cannes Film Festival. She wore like this black dress with this huge drapey earrings on and her makeup is smoking. She actually has this brown smoky eye with this kind of nudie lips on and glowing skin that's actually the makeup look that we are going to try to achieve and yeah let's just jump right into the video so first I have actually applied uh, my eye primer already and then so I'm just going to move on to my brows just filling it in so regularly pick it up, pick it up. What I'm going to do differently is that I'm going to double coat my eyebrows with this brow gel, tinted brow gel. To make the entire eyeshadow applied more smoothly, I'm just going to set my entire eyelid with this skin tone colored eyeshadow. To begin the eye look, I'm going to first apply this brown colored eyeliner all over my entire eyelid just for the eyeshadows to stick on and so it acts as a base so the eyeshadows appear more vibrantly. And then I'm just going to blend it in with my ring finger. And then I'm going to move on to this medium tone colored eyeshadow and, and I'm going to apply it with a blending brush just for it to act as a transition color all over my crease. With the same brush, I'm going to press on a darker color of brown eyeshadow on top of the brown base that we have put on earlier. And I'm just going to blend, blend, blend. You've got a beautiful brain, but it's and then to blend the harsh edges, I'm going to take this bronzer and I'm just going to apply it on the edges with the same brush again. To make the entire look appear more warmer, I'm going to apply this warm brown colored eyeshadow on top of the um, bronzer that we applied earlier. And then I take a pencil brush and I'm just intensifying the darker brown eyeshadow that we did earlier. And then to balance the eye look, I'm taking that same warm brown colored eyeshadow and I'm just going to apply it onto my lower lash line. It's just medicine. Then to intensify the darker brown colored even more I'm going to take a much more darker brown color and I'm just going to apply it on top of the previous darker brown that we have applied earlier and then with the same warm brown eyeshadow I'm just going to blend everything Then I'm just going to intensify the lower lash line color even more and I'm just cleaning up the edges, make sure that the um, the shape of the of this eye look appears more cut, if you know what I mean. I'm just cleaning up the edges with the wet tissue. And then I'm just going to highlight my inner corner with a satiny, shimmery kind of lighter eyeshadow and then I'm just going to apply mascara all over my entire lashes, top and bottom. Then I'm just going to highlight my brow bone with that lighter skin tone color. Then I finally move on to my face. 
this is I'm using the Nivea post shave balm and I'm using it as a primer and I'm applying it all over my face then I finally apply my foundation this is the Revlon color stay for the combination slash oily skin because I wanted the, the entire look to appear more matte and because this foundation is lighter than my skin tone I'm mixing it with the makeup store sport foundation in the color mocha then I'm just going to blend everything in with this BH Cosmetics flat top brush and then I'm highlighting my face highlighting and contouring my face with this LA girl pro conceal this is my first time using it and so far so good and I'm just going to blend everything with the same brush Then before I set my face, I'm applying this cream highlighter. This is a Benefit Girl Meets Pearl on top of my cheekbones, uh, in the middle of my nose, my cupid's bow, and a little bit of an, a little bit on my chin. Then I'm just going to set everything with this yellow tone powder from Pigeon. To intensify my contour, I'm going to apply this contour powder shade on top of the cream contour that I did earlier. And to top it off, I'm going to apply this bronzer by Too Faced. It's more of like kind of a shimmery bronzer to give my skin a little bit of dimension. Then I'm just going to highlight my face with this MAC Mineralize eyeshadow in the color Love Connection and to intensify the highlight, I'm spraying the, bu the brush and look at the highlight. And I'm sorry, but I lost the footage of me applying my lip color, but it's just MAC Chicory Lip Liner with the MAC Cream Cup Lipstick. And yeah, this is the entire Kendall Jenner Cannes Film Festival makeup done. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!